off of that 187 record, man, and I'm listening to it like, yeah, this where it's at. For real. I gotta take that shine, because the nigga that's already in this shit, he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna let a nigga like me in, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all would sleep, I been popping. Yeah, the bitch has been flocking. Want some game, just watch me. Young black plus some cocky. Beat the block like I'm oddly. Beat the block like fuck sleep. Trap jump like good C. Got a charge, ain't nothing free. Law man, yeah, they know we eat. Game mute, nobody speak. What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter, bringing you another exclusive interview. This one right here is with the homegirl, Melanin Blossom. We chopped it up about a lot of shit, man. I asked her a lot of important questions. I even asked her stuff about the radio. I asked her, why is it so violent in Chicago? And when I tell you this lady didn't run from anything, I asked her. I mean, she didn't. You feel me? She kept it 100. So do me a favor, subscribe to my channel ASAP, and most definitely follow me on Instagram at We Are The Truth Teller. And then it's Truth Teller from We Are The Truth Tellers. Hey, sweetheart, how you doing? I'm okay. I appreciate you letting me chop it up with you for a second. Glad to hear from you. <laughs> yeah. Walk me through this. Exactly where you're from. Okay, so I was born in Virginia because I'm an Army brat, but I've been in Chicago since I was maybe three. So I definitely grew up in the shot and Roseland in the Hunnets is where I originated from. That's where oh. most of my childhood was at. You know, I see a lot of female rappers coming out of Chicago, but it seemed like, you know, they don't get the look that they supposed to get. You know, why is that? You know what? I think that there's so many people trying to rap in this day and age. Um, this has been a huge year for people to get on through the music industry right. and a lot a lot of the rap from females sounds the same a lot of it is so similar it's all the same message it's all sexual it's all you know everybody want to be a hitter so <laughs> it's like right it's, you know everybody's saying the same thing so i think the reason that um a lot of the female artists maybe aren't getting on is because everybody's starting to sound the same yeah, I can agree with that, too. You know, I hear a lot about, like, uh, y'all radio stations out there, WGCI and, like, Power 92.3, I believe. Are they uh, local? Are they radio-friendly for, like, local artists? You know what? Honestly, I'm trying to figure out exactly how it works. Um, I mean, I'm familiar with some of these guys in 92 by the name of Shop Liz. Right. Um, he's supposed to be hitting my line back to let me know what I can do to get on the radio, and he hasn't let me know anything, so I'm really trying to figure out what's to it. Right. Shop Liz, if you see this, man, you got to let us know. You know, he actually followed me, so you probably going to get a chance to see this. That, see? That would be great. I hope you see it. I hope you see it so he can, <laughs> so he can holler at me about getting this music on the radio. Yeah, you know, I actually heard a, a couple of your songs. I seen some on Spinrella. I thought that was pretty dope. You heard? Which one did you hear? I think that's called Way I Am. It's called Who I Am. Who I Am. Who am I? <laughs> and, um, yeah, so you heard that, yeah. That's um, the latest one I dropped. I got another one I just finished recording. It's called Reckless. I don't know when I'm going to drop it yet. I'm trying to get the promo together for that. Right, you know, a lot of a lot of upcoming artists be trying to get into this music business. They don't exactly know what to do. How, what did you do? Did you just get up with a DJ and just get into it, or a beat producer, or did you have to work on your lyrics first? Well, you know what, honestly, I used to do poetry, and I actually was working with another artist trying to help them, you know, get their artistry together. They used to write me poetry. Wow. And they poetry was just like super dope. It was some shit I had never read before. And I'm, <laughs> I'm real keen on <laughs> literature. So I'm just like, what's up? I'm like, you need to do something with this talent. Like, you got to tell them what words you really need to get into this and find out what's to it. And so I just start, you know, sending them artists as references to listen to and telling them about rhyme schemes and patterns and things like that. So I'm basically building, you know, helping to build an artist from scratch. And finally, they were like, well, if you know so much about music, then why the fuck aren't you <laughs>
um, well, referenced me to my first DJ to drop my song on there. That was DJ Cortez. That artist was Carla Khan. Right. Shout out DJ Cortez. Good dude. Yeah. I think he good. I ain't met him in person, but <laughs> <laughs> he do good. He do good business, so he's cool. So, so far as you've been in the rap game, you know, I, 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 the music business, I hear a lot about you know, uh, some of the people who are in position be kind of fool, be kind of phony, taking advantage of the artists. Have you seen any of that? I've heard a lot about that. I've heard um, even something as deep as a blood sacrifice. I don't know how true that is. But promos, it costs money to interview. It costs money to book, you know, book a session. It's just everything costs money. Right. Photo shoots, video shoots, um, appearances that, you know, live venues, all of that costs money. So it's definitely a huge investment. Yeah, that's true. You know, and I know you had touched on something. You said you stayed in that Roseland community. Now, you know I'm a street reporter. I keep my eyes to everything. I got my ears on everything. And I've been hearing a lot about that community. I want to know, can you, can you tell me from your perspective, because I ask a lot of male rappers, but from a female standpoint, do you know why it's so violent out there? Why is the rappers shooting each other? Why all the young people angry at each other? You know what? I really think, like, when I grew up in Roseland, I was a kid. I want to say I was over there from maybe about age 10 to maybe age 14 or 15. And okay. I went to high school over there down the hill okay. at Brooks. So um, I think that when I was growing up over there, I was completely unaware of the danger. Completely. <laughs> right. So, I was, you know, I would go outside. I would play with my friends, jump rope, play baseball or whatever like that. But I was completely unaware of the danger. I was, you know, I was clueless until, like, I lost a friend, Blair Holt. Um, he got shot on that 103 bus. I remember that, that Blair was, Holt. I remember that. Yeah, Young man went to Julian, right? Friends. Right. Yeah. yeah. That was one of my friends. He lived, like, his granny, his granny and them, they owned the um, candy store right on the corner. We used to go there, like, every day. And then the other guy that got beat up with the plank, and he was murdered with the plank, that big group. Um, I remember that. All over there by that church. I remember that. Track. Yeah, that, that happened. So I started hearing about all the violence, and um, I, I used to date a guy a long time ago when I was young and stupid, but he got shot in his face, and I'm just like, whoa, it's out of hand over here. <laughs> but I really think that the, um, the violence really stems from fear. I think that a lot of people that are in, involved in the violence and the murders and stuff like that, the black and black crime, it's usually stemming from somebody being fearful that they're going to get God first. And so, so that they don't get God first, they have to the first nigga that they think is out to get them. Uh. So I think it's really like a game of, like when you go to the paintball range and you, you know, you're trying to, you ducking and dodging and you rolling and you shooting, but you really just trying not to get shot first. Right? <laughs> right. You know, right. The scene of the paintball, but like, that's what I really think it is, but it's real life. You know, it's not paintball. It's, it's real life in Chicago. It's the streets, and the guns are real. The bullets are real. The wounds are real. The deaths are real. And so I think that um, everybody's just sort of scared. Like, everybody's hiding behind the trigger. It's like nobody fights anymore. Nothing's fair anymore. Even if you want to get out of the game, somebody still got beat. Somebody's still mad that you beat them up five years ago. Right. They petty. They mad. Or they think that maybe you got some people, if they see them... They may squad up with them, so it's just a big, it's a huge shootout. It's, it's really, I think if everybody could just chop it up and you feel me, maybe smoke and um, <laughs> right. sit down and eat some good food and, you know, really just talk everything out, I think it could be smooth. You know what? I never looked at it from that angle, but I think that's a good way to look at it, too. I want to know, you got any new projects coming out, Melanie? Yeah, it's okay. So I'm actually going to do a video shoot tomorrow. Uh. If that comes together, I'm working on this cover for the Chance the Rapper album. No, I don't know Chance. I know the Chance is from 79, but no, I do not know Chance. But I, I think the man's is dope. I'm really feeling his whole and the wave. Right. And I, I've been thought he was dope. Well, he, before he came and performed at my high school some years ago, and that's my first time hearing the man. I'm like, this man go crazy. He gonna get on. And he definitely right. did. So um, me and a friend of mine, her name is Leslie, um, we doing this Chance the Rapper cover. So we're going to call it the cover of the coloring book. That's dope, right? Because the album is called the coloring book. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, so it's, but it's a dance. It's going to be a dance video. So um, we got some shoots coming up for that. We're going to do a photo shoot for a promo and then um, the video shoots to do the um, choreography. So that's coming up. Um, the Reckless track is coming up. I'm featured on a couple of Kari Lacan's tracks. Okay. Um, we got this track um, called Fly. He just did. We just recorded. 
I'm singing on that. Uh. And I'm not a singer, bro. But, okay. <laughs> but, but the vocals, I've been practicing, and the vocals came through real nice. And okay. um, Sound Master T. Shout out Sound Master T. Shout out Sound Master. He hooked that shit up, so that shit was dope. That shit was dope. And, um, definitely. Definitely. Oh, and this, there's an artist by the name of Dave the Man. That's one of my good friends. Um, he got a couple of tracks that I'm supposed to be featuring on with them, too. I see you're working. That's what's up. The people want to get up with you, Melanie. Somebody just want to give you a bag of money because they like what you're doing. Where can they find I you at? On the... Well, love if somebody would come give me a bag of money. Right. I would love that. <laughs> you know, bring the money. No, but um, Melanie Bay Radio, man. I got a couple of tracks You got a Twitter? Social media. Um, I do have a Twitter. That would be Melon and Blossom as well. Ah, uh, that's what's up. You know, uh, you think you can get somebody some advice, man, who's trying to get in this shit and they don't know what to do? You know what I would say? I would say that if your whole heart and soul is meant to this, I would say that if you are fearful that you aren't going to make it, you're not going to make it. The whole thing about anything, any dream that anyone wants to pursue, not even just, you know, um, music, but anything that you want to pursue, you have to pr pursue and commit to it 100%. And if you're not ready to commit to it 100%, whether it's weight loss, music, acting, modeling, any of that, you'll never make it. So, what the message I want to send is to be 100% committed. And if you're past normal, you was sleep, I've been popping. Yeah, the bitch has been flocking. Want some game, just watch me. Young black plus some cocky. Beat the block like I'm oddly. Beat the block like fuck sleep. Trap jump like good C. Got a charge, ain't nothing free. Law man, yeah, they know we eat. Game mute, nobody speak.